Ow. Ow. I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Phil the Conquista Dork. Welcome to Song of the Deep. This uh, game was released today. Uh, I've actually been kind of looking forward to this one. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of reading of it. And I'm, I'm a deep sea fan. Merrin loved the sea. She loved the sound of the waves calling to her through her window. She dreamt every night of the mysteries that lay beneath. Her father was a fisherman. Each day he went out to sea, and each night Merrin waited at the rocky cliff edge, holding up a candle to guide him safely home. The two of them were poor. Their roof was leaky, and they sometimes went hungry. But as long as they had each other, Merrin knew they would be okay. At night, her father sang her songs about his great adventures. He sang of giant leviathan serpents, haunted caves, and a lost city of gold beneath the sea. Merrin knew the stories weren't real, but she loved to listen to them. She drifted off to sleep, imagining the wonders of the world below. And her life continued that way, simply and happily. Until one night, her father didn't return. Marin held up her candle at the cliff's edge all through the night, staring out at the empty sea. She shivered in the cold wind as she watched for him all the next day. Her eyes welled with tears as night fell again and there was still no sign of her father. At last, she collapsed into sleep. In her dreams, she saw him, trapped deep beneath the sea, calling to her for help. She awoke with a jolt. A desperate and dangerous plan was already forming in her head. She took scraps of metal and wood her father had caught in his nets and pieced them together. She hammered and bolted, she measured and sawed. And before the sun had set, she had built a tiny, rickety submarine. With trembling hands, she squeezed inside and dove down beneath the waves to search for her father. <laughs> the submarine didn't work, she drowned, she died. The end. God damn. God damn it. This is... Oh, this game's gonna make me cry, isn't it? Like, I just... I just got a feeling in my bones that this doesn't end with me laughing merrily. I don't know why. These kind of whimsy games that have been really popular in the past five, six years or so, oh, they could be so freaking tragic. Well, this is lovely. Look at that! Oh, this is so cool! I love underwater stuff. The world beneath the waves shimmered with mystery. Glow kelp bulbs lit up around her as she passed by. <laughs> oh, it's too neat! Look at this! This is, this is taking, this is straight out of, uh, Child of Light. Except it's underwater instead of fairy tale, overground kind of thing. Oh. Erin spotted some odd-looking old coins. Maybe her father would know where they were from. Are you a crab? Yes, you are, you're a crab! <laughs> Wow. Whoa. It's swept up. Whoa. No, I want that coin. Ah! Ah, oh, the undertow sucking me down. I don't want that coin. Ah, Jesus. Okay, all right, all right. Hold on. Let's let's get it under control here. Where am I? <laughs> wow. Oh, I 
like this. This is adorable. Right, what is this? Open. 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 Alright. I guess I gotta find something. An eerie light flickered and danced on the sea floor like an underwater fire. Her father once told her about a mysterious living energy called time. time. Could that have been a time wellspring? Huh. Alright, so there are our, our save points. These are urchins. Can I use these for something? They're glowing. Maybe I can throw them into the time wellspring. I mean, they're doing something. I don't know what, but whatever. Alright, it's just saving. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I got you. I got you. Ah, uh, could time it. I don't think I'm... Enough time. No! No! Ow! Okay. Alright, so I gotta time the currents. Moving right along. Ah! Ah! Hmm. Okay. Ah. A seahorse made of clockwork gears darted out of the way as Mary what? approached. She wondered who could have built such a curious creature. Oh, that's awesome. I like clockwork seahorses. I didn't even know I liked clockwork seahorses until now, but I definitely know that I like them. Got a pearl. Alright, let's see. Mwah. Oh boy! Alright, didn't time that quite right. Oh good, all that for that coin. That worked out. Of course, maybe the coins are super important, I don't know. Okay. Let's follow that seahorse. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god, don't have any choice! I have to follow the seahorse! Oh god! Oh. Ooh. What was that? Magnetic claw. Versatile magnetic claw capable of grabbing, pulling, and attacking. Alright. Aaron approached a glowing scrap of metal and pulled it inside. It was claw shaped and had a strong magnetic pull. <laughs> she took out her tools and attached it to a firing mechanism on her steering column. Ah, cool. Like an alien mouth. And... Cool. Alright. Ah. Awesome. Wow, yeah, it really is a xenomorph weapon, isn't it? Let's pick up the urchins. Wonder what I can do with that. Theron spotted shock oh, look at that! She had to be cautious, as the hostile creatures would attack her on sight. So I just go wow. All right, so I use the urchins to attack the shock metals. Oh, too cool. This is adorable. Oh, it's so pretty. The music's nice. And I've got a magnetic claw and a submarine. All I ever wanted in the world. Claw also deals damage. Get away from me, you. What are you? Wah! Oh, shit! Come here. Oh, God! Are you a bomb? Yeah, you're a bomb. Ooh, I'm getting fucked up. I need to be careful. Fuck off. Fuck off. Nah. Ah! Ah! Clock, pick up bombs. Yes, it can. Time it, and boom! Oh, well, I guess I didn't have to time it that well. All the same. Right here. This is so cute. Hi. The sleeping guardian blocked Merrin's path. She knew it all too well from her father's stories. And she knew it must never be woken. Oh, that is kind of creepy. Ah! 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 Oh, Jesus! No! No! 
No! Fuck off! Ah! According to her father, the Guardians had been built by ancient undersea explorers called the Fomori. No one's quite sure why. The Fomori were a myth. Now she wondered if her father's other stories might be true. Hmm. So this is, yeah, this is kind of a Metroidvania underwater exploration platformer thing. Which I love, by the way. Right, I need a bomb to blow that up. I mean, look at this. Can these guys set a mood or can they set a mood? This is f Oh no. Oh shoot. Okay. This is just gorgeous. Okay, I guess I can't take it up there. The old statue <laughs> reminded her of her father's lullabies Sit there. about the brave oh. and beautiful Meros. Get up there. Reassemble it somehow. Yep. There we go. <laughs> oh, look at the little mermaid's purses. Oh, this is nice. I'm a sucker for this kind of thing. I really am. Atmosphere and some whimsy and... And obviously, the underwater dynamic makes me very happy as well. Wow. I replace one statue head with another, I guess? No, back off, man! Leave me alone! Holy shit! What do you want? Get over there. Oh. Fuck off. Fuck off. Jesus. As Marin explored, she sketched the terrain on a sheet of cartography paper. Her father had taught her that those who make maps are never lost. Wayah! So, oh, look at that. There I am. Oh. A huge hermit crab watched Merrin from a rocky ledge. On his back, he carried a vast array of odd looking treasures. Do you. Is this like. Oh, it is! <laughs> the crab seemed to like shiny awesome. objects. Maybe he would be willing to make a trade. Okay, awesome. Okay, I don't have enough for anything yet. But, come on! The merchant is a hermit crab. That's freaking awesome. Ah! Oh, this is adorable. Ah! Jesus! Oh, God. The urchins are just absolutely messing with me. Fuck off. Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! Oh, God! Back off, man! I'm a sailor! I gotta save my dad! I will fuck up all the barbed shocky, spiky, pointed things in the ocean to find my dad. I ain't fucking around here. This is awesome. Okay. Ah! So the goal is this. Alright, so I gotta go find a statue head. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Ooh. Uh, that can't be good. 
<laughs> Is that bad? No? Okay. Maybe it wants to eat something. Maybe it wants to eat this delicious urchin. Huh? What do you say, big fella? You want a nom nom? Ah, come on, let me in. Hey, it worked! I got a pearl. Friggin' awesome. <laughs> nice touch. Okay, let's see. Just push and hide up here. No, no, no. Push and hide up here. Yeah. Push and hide up here. Oh, shit. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, I want it. Ah. I gotcha. Awesome. Come on, statue head. You're coming with me. Whoa. All right. And boom. Hey, hey. I ain't bad at this amateur submarine shit. Boost jet. Sophisticated propulsion device capable of boosting the sub's movement in short spurts. Amidst the wreckage of an old Fomori vessel lay an undamaged propulsion device. Marin bolted Ooh. it off the back of her submarine, eager to test out its effects on her lightweight craft. Alright, so I can use this thing to push against the jets. However, impermanently. Ah, this is great! Oh, fuck. Come on. Well, I am absolutely and utterly charmed by this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Song of the Deep. Uh, it just came out today, July 12th. Uh, this probably is gonna get posted the day after. Um, really, really charming. Lovely aesthetic to it. If you're into undersea adventure and that kind of thing, obviously it speaks for itself. It's got a bit of a, a Child of Light, Metroidvania, you know, just whimsy fairy tale adventure kind of feel to it with some nautical goodness mixed in. I'm going to keep playing this. This looks fun as all get out. I, I've been reading about this leading up to... Uh, ooh, leading up to this. Oh, he didn't want that. Uh, and I can say for certain Giant clowns that are I'm... Notoriously picky eaters. <laughs> Each one seemed to prefer a different kind of treat. Huh. I, I'm just, I'm just, I, I, I am not disappointed in this in the slightest so far. This is, this is the kind of thing that would keep my interest. And it is. Uh, I'm going to keep playing it. So, in the meantime, in between time, my name is Phil the Conquistador. Please join me for some more uh, goodness. Uh, we're still doing Patriot Games this month. Oh, my. Didn't like it. Didn't like it. Uh, we're still doing Patriot Games this month. <gasps> Look at the angler fish. Oh, so evil. Um, so please join us for that. We're still playing Assassin's Creed 3 and having a good time, despite uh, the game trying to ruin my good time uh, by being way too complicated and up its own ass. But that's that's how a lot of games are. I think we can all, I think we all know that. Uh, <laughs> so please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if there's anything you'd like me to be playing, if I'm missing out on anything, or you'd like to see some more goodness from me. Let me know. Otherwise, I'm Phil the Conquistador, Dork. Braver of the high seas and finder of my dad. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye!